Welcome to Cameron House Marina, I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland. This is a Fairline Targa 29 powered by twin Volvo Penta V6 4.3 litre engines. She's had a great number of very recent upgrades and is fresh from a full anti-fouling and hullside machine polish with complete sets of new interior and exterior upholstery, new carpets, new bedding, recently replaced canvases, brand new stereo system and much more. Presented in stunning condition, join us to take a look through our spec. At its time of build, it was in direct competition with the C-Line S28, both very popular models, but radically different. So this is a lot wider. It does have a lot more, a lot more usable cockpit space than the C-Line S28. It is a foot longer as well. And I think it's fair to say, although both put together here in the UK, both made to very high standards, the Fairline probably is a superior product to the C-Line in regards to build quality and desirability. All the pinstriping was renewed, so you can see Target 29 and the, the pinstripes there, all the decals, and then the hull has had a machine polish. And you can tell the craftsmanship put into this, excellent, because the gel coat is very, very thick on these, so you'll always get a good shine off them once you give them a polish. Now, I know it's ironic because of where we live and today's setting, but we do have four deck sunbathing cushions up on the bow, just in front of that is the escape hatch, and then you've got your electric anchor winch with chain and your foot pedestal controls as well. A nice big high guard rail that runs almost all the way down to the transom end, allowing ease of access on the walk around if you need to get up to do your, your anchor or your ropes and fenders. You've got glow mix for the television, your VHF aerial, and then also an all round white light and your horn. Tender chocks make berthing the boat, well, berthing your tender nice and simple. And then you have, just in front of that, your transom shower. 230 volt electric power on the port side and a nice grab rail to allow people to securely and safely enter and get off the boat. Let's take a look inside. One of the unique key features of this specific Targa 29 in particular is that it has had a vast amount of upgrades in its very recent history. If you think of the boat itself, now the superstructure is just fiberglass GRP, that does not degrade. But things that do get tired and over time may need to get replaced, well, they've been done here in its recent history and that keeps the boat looking renewed, it keeps it looking fresh and it keeps it looking very clean. Now that means that all of the upholstery that you can see, everything here in the cockpit was renewed at the end of 2022. So it's all brand new and it's been restored to the beautiful factory settings, the colours, and also the design templates that this boat would have had from original. The fiberglass GRP radar arch had the installation of two Fusion Bluetooth speakers. They light up, they set the ambience very well at night. And then because the canvas is hooked directly onto the radar arch, there isn't a lot of framework. There's some, but not a lot. It means that when we're cruising along, especially at high speed, you don't have canvas flapping around all the time. It doesn't feel like we're under magnitude 8.5 on the Richter scale or we're taking off in the space shuttle. It's calm, it's pleasurable, and it's undramatic. Well, under propulsion, especially at speed. Now, they've stepped the cockpit area here. On the S28, we just had one lounger on the port side running alongside the hull. With this, we have the L shape. So the navigator has a seat to sit on and face forward while underway. We also retain that lounger with the backrest there and a triangular cup holder just moulded in to the backrest section of that. We have our U-shape, whereas on the S28, we just had back bench, bench facing as well. So we didn't have that social U. That is the configuration of choice for most boat owners. It's all focused around this table and then opposite that, we have more cup holders, a storage area, which in this case is holding a fire extinguisher. And also you can put your fenders and your ropes in there too. Engines live underneath the floor here, but what we'll do is we'll drop the table down and show you this as the daybed configuration. Cushion goes in at its longest point there, it's 5 feet and 10 inches. Bear in mind as well, this back section of the canvas will come off to reveal the view behind you. So just to show you what it looks like from the port side transom quarter. And then up again here, looking back. Now the, the, the captain's seat is a bit like a sports seat, so it hugs your figure very well, especially while you're putting the boat under hard turns. Now we have on the bow thruster, the beginner's compadre, your best friend. Right next to that have our GPS compass, and then the dials are direct and eye line in front of you. If you're looking directly out ahead, they're actually just in line with the center of the bow of the boat. That makes way for this navigation chart area just in front of the compass. Twin throttles and then our VHF radio just down below. We also have tri-data aboard the boat. 
Excellent. Let's take a look downstairs. Down into the saloon. So all the carpets are, are new here. Same with all the upholstery. That was all new as well. And then same in the aft cabin where the bed has never been slept on because it is new upholstery. Now instantly it feels a lot brighter, a lot airier than a Sea line S28. You get a lot more headroom and it's very much noticeably beamier. In the galley, we have our AC and our DC panel. You can bring a microwave or a kettle, that's a gas kettle, but you can bring an electric kettle and you can use your 230 volt sockets there. Stainless steel hot and cold sink. We then have cabinets that run along the entirety of the workstation. Underneath we've got our twin gas burners in superb condition. Cabinet underneath, more storage. And then a small fridge with a freezer compartment as well. Now everything is exactly as it videos. It presents in real life exactly in the same condition and the cleanliness that it videos and that's one key thing to take away from this. Nothing is hidden here at all. You then have your fusion stereo system. There's speakers down here and there's also speakers upstairs. If you are dining, you're probably going to have the table out set like this. If you then just want maximum space, maybe you've got quite a lot of people down here, you've got a bit of a crowd, simply fold that backwards. Look at the woodwork on that. The joinery is always excellent on these British made boats. And then you have five cup holders and plenty of space to then get yourself sat round the table. Sit back, put your feet up and catch up with a bit of TV. In the evening time, if someone wants to sleep here because you can drop the table down and you could put a cushion on top of it to turn this into a double bed, then you will just literally pull your curtains across and that should stop the light from coming in and waking you up in the morning. Excellent. So this entrance is into the disco, so we've got two multicoloured lights that come down into here so you can sit on the throne and have a party at the same time. We've got a pump flush sea toilet with a waste tank, then more storage just in those split cabinets there. You'll see the shower faucet is on its own runner, just like the home comforts that you would have back in your own bathroom. And then the channeled area underneath here has a drain for the shower sump, so that is why you have the recessed well. You've got hot and cold water coming off the calorifier, also hot water coming off the engines. And then look at this area that is in a, a slight lip, a slight depression to allow you to put your bar of soap. Nice and clean in the heads, no bad smells, no foul smells at all, and all the essentials that you need for the weekend on the water. And then the final door takes us into the aft cabin. So those brand new carpets are continued through here as well. Same with the brand new upholstery. Same on the overspill seating as well, which I am a personal fan of. It just gives you another area to escape the kids, your wife, your husband. If you have a fallout, you don't want to sit next to them all evening. Then there's a vanity mirror and then you have curtains as well for the porthole. Now, way ahead of its time, the cabin's actually full beam. You don't tend to get many 29 footers that have a full beam cabin, especially of this age. Up at the back, you've got a shelf, then also grab and go lockers, more curtains to enclose that off as well for night time. And the upholstery is brand new. Perfect. We'll take one last sweeping look, folks, and then we'll finish up with the engines. Propelled along by a set of Volvo Penta 4.3 litre GSs. Each of these are a set of V6 petrol engines. Built at a time when manufacturing quality was of more importance than manufacturing cost. I'm Ruben from Marine Sail Scotland. We're fun in the water. Big ins.